Hey guys and gals, it's Tim. And Delia. And welcome, welcome to, to our shop. shop. What are we doing today? Working on owl pellets. We're working on it. owl pellets. So I don't know if you guys remember these. I remember this from when I was like your age in school. I, I was in third grade when we first did this. So long ago, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, last year. <laughs> So, uh, owl pellets, there's a little thing about it. So just so you know, it's not owl poop, is it? No. No. It's where owls cannot swallow the bones and such hard bits of the things that they eat, and they spit it back out again into these little pellets. Ours is in this little piece of aluminum foil. And as a science experiment, what do we do? We are going to find the bones. Yeah, we're going to take it apart and see about finding the bones and bits that are in there. Now, we found this when we were in Kansas City on our little weekend trip, right? Mm -hmm. We went to this really cool science shop. You remember the name of it? No. Oh, yeah. HMS Beagle. HMS Beagle. There's, there's the, there we go. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. HMS Beagle uh, in Parkville, just north of Kansas City. We'll put their link in the notes, right? Because mm -hmm. they also have an online shop if you want to do this yourself. Um, we loved it there. They were really cool, yeah. right? Uh-huh. The guy that was very informative, he even gave you some uh, Spectrum. spectrometer film. Yeah. Yeah, so you can use it to make your own uh, spectrometer. Which I already did that. Which she already did that. It's just like another thing. Jeez, what craziness. So, you're going to see us take apart... An owl pellet. These owl pellets. These are also what we got to take apart. Yeah, so it comes in a little kit. Um, it has some instructions, some questions for you as far as what to investigate. An owl and, pellet. Uh, all the different how to identify the bones, which is really cool. Uh, pokey thingy. Pokey thingy. And some That's the technical term. <laughs> pokey thingy. <laughs> cool. Ready to get started? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So quick up close look at what we've got so far. This is a rodent skull inside. I'm starting to see its lower teeth there as well. A lot of fur to get to it. We've got a few other bones and pieces as well. But that's really cool. I wanted to make sure you guys were able to see that really close. Get it from other angles. Mm -hmm. We're gonna dig into it more as well. What do you think about it, Adelia? It's cool. Um, my mom is super grossed out about it. <laughs> She's all... <laughs> you want to do some more? Yeah. All right. All right, so that was cool. Uh, yeah. What did you like about it? We found skulls. We found skulls. So you wanted to find a skull really bad. That's why you wanted to get the kit or the little set when we got it, right? How many did we find? Two. Found two skulls. One was better than the other. We got the jaws out of all of them. We could see their teeth. But here's the really good one. Let me see if I can get this on the camera. It's still very small. What kind of skull is this most likely, Adelia? Probably a rodent. A small rodent, like maybe a field mouse of some sort. Yep. Right? This is about, what, three quarter inch long? Which is pretty cool. And it did have its lower jaws with it. Its teeth fell out, though. Which is, you know, understandable. I am very impressed the size of one of its lower teeth. Rather big. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'll try to put my hand here. Uh oh, dropped it. Into the fur. But it's almost an inch long. Well, no, it's probably like a half an inch long. Yeah, probably a half. Uh, 
uh, is the lower tooth. And then the upper teeth, the, probably more of their grinding teeth once they get the food in their mouth, or these itty bitty things. So it was quite fascinating from, you know, hip bones. Was that what that was? The pelvic bone is what that was. You can see with the ball joint. On this one actually has the two bones together. I'm, I'm, I'm sure one of you out there probably knows better than we do. I keep flinging things around with these tweezers. <laughs> um, so we we'll probably have to look that up. That's the only one I found like that that had the two still connected together. And I don't know if that's part of, oh, that's part of the hind limb. That's what that is right there. This would go to their foot. See, knowing to half the battle. Again, be sure if you want to check one of these out, they are, just so you guys know, um, they've been collected and fumigated. They are from common barn owls. And I read this from the instruction seat, um, sheet. It does have a lot of information around, you know, what they're eating and why they don't actually, you know, digest the bones. Basically, this is their systems can't handle it. Yeah. It's too pokey, so to say. Yeah. Um, that kind of fun stuff. Uh, there's no need for gloves because we're not touching the things directly. But of course, as soon as we're done with this video, what's the first thing we're gonna go do? Go wash our hands. Wash our hands really good to stay nice and clean and safe. And all this is probably gonna go in the trash. Skull. Unless we can find a way to preserve the skull. Is it this piece yeah. that you really like, this one? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if it's still together. Watch where you're stepping. Alright, one small piece of fell off, just the top. Still good? <laughs> That's hilarious. So this is the one you really like, the one that I just dropped. So we'll have to look it up and see if it's safe and sanitary. Uh, if there's a safe and sanitary way to keep it. Otherwise, we'll have to throw it away because I don't want any, any germs. Which means we'll have to get another one later. Cool?